We're at the home of the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one in the NFC, as it'll be the Detroit Lions taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. The ball on the tee, we're set for football. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. Boston Scott on the return from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. They go here with a former Lion. It's DeAndre Swift. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. He's on his way. DeAndre Swift. Touchdown, Philadelphia. DeAndre Swift. An 80-yard touchdown. And the Eagles will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Let's make no bones about it. On paper, they're the better team. They're at home. That's a strong opening drive. And just think how many times we've seen this type of a matchup. Just what you said, better team at home should steamroll them. And we've seen it go the other way. Sometimes, though, they buy into it and understand we are the better team. Let's go out and prove it right now. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. What's that? They'll start on the ground with Montgomery. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. A good run there off right tackle in an old-school NFL football. The right side of the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical hey, side. Kind of reminds Lamp. me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. They'll run for the first time with a speedster, Jameer Gibbs. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. Maverick, 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 Maverick. 12, 12, 12. They'll fake the handoff. Now go off. He's got his target. That's complete. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 39. Out of the gun, they'll give to Gibbs. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. 14. 14. Super 66. Off play action. Here's Goff. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. So now following the sack, Goff and the Lions needing to come up with something here on third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Try to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. It's Sidney Brown with it. And the Eagles are going to take over here up near the 40. So it's third and long, and you know this is going to be a pass. So defensively, they're bringing an extra defensive back and just blanket the field. And this is an ill-advised throw right here as it winds up being picked off easily. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. 
pure, unbridled joy after that one. Right back to Swift again on second down. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. 98 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. Well, they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, say, as you said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. And it is still early, just the first quarter. But you start prorating the numbers, and we might be in for some history. I mean, that last oh, run no, puts no. him over 100 yards already, and we've still got three quarters to go. No, On second down, Swift. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly, and the play comes to you, and sometimes... You got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. One thing's for sure, this defense has to figure out how to stop the ground game. He's eating them up here in the first quarter. It looks like they have to go to different forces, aren't they? The conventional things aren't working too well. So I remember a coach of mine saying way back when, when a back's having a great game, you've got to get the ball out of his hands. See how far he can run without the ball. And what he meant was takeaways, knock it loose, because maybe you can't just stop him with just regular tackling. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. Once again, it's Swift. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. First down marker at the five. It's second and goal. Swift going to try up the middle. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. Well, I would have figured after the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was, and now it's third down. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. DeAndre Swift with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Eagles go up by two touchdowns. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line. And he's able to take it into the end zone. Elliott now to add the extra point. And it's good to make it 14 nothing. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Uh, Charles, it's kind of gut check time. Look, I know it's early first quarter, just their second drive of the game, but they've already thrown the interception, given up the score. You're down double digits. They got Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. Touchdown, Detroit. David Montgomery, 77 yards. And the Lions are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. They were already down two scores early. They needed something to try to stem that tide, and that certainly qualifies a big play to get them in the end zone. It qualifies indeed because, let's face it, they don't get something done on this drive, turn it back over. This game could be 88 and out the gate early. What, 88 and out the gate? 
Yeah. What, what's that? Well, listen, I used to hear my old man talk about it. Usually meant that thing's done. Oh, well, now that they got the touchdown, it's it's not 88 now at the game. We still got a good game going ahead of us. This game back within a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three because remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah, and right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started, the way that they're going about doing things right now. They've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. They will run straight ahead with... And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And this is scooped up by the Lions. And his guys will take over at their own 44-yard line. Well, he has been a workhorse for them in this game, and ball security hasn't been an issue until that point. Yeah, and let's face it, when he's going to carry the ball that many times, he becomes more and more of a target for the defense, knowing that he's going to be the primary guy. They'll just send more and more players towards him, yeah, trying to make trying sure, to make sure. the ball free. Drive starts with a run from Gibbs. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. Value one. We're good. We're good. Hey, 76. 76. Turbo. Now go off on first down. The 20. And he will reach the five yard line before going out of bounds. What a play that turns out to be, 36 yards. From the gun, Gibbs will get it. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Super, value three. We've hit the two minute mark of the second quarter, 14 to seven. Line of scrimmage again, the four yard line, second and goal. Obama, Obama, Obama. Goff now looking to throw. Yeah, he's got it. That time the completion goes for four yards, and we're set up with a third and goal. And they're trying to line up quickly here. Goff urging them on. Super one, super. They'll look to throw on third and goal. And he's got his man. It's caught for a lion touchdown. Jared Goff to Amon Ross St. Brown. And the Lions are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Extra point try now for Patterson. And oh, he clanks it off the right upright, and it's no good. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Yeah, last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. You've got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. What a game he's having. They've not been able to stop him. 
or even slow him down. He's got two touchdowns already. That could have been a third. He's got the secondary coach asking people for answers. Can you help me out? Because we are not slowing him down. 147 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. They go play action with Hertz. Oh, he tries to force it in and it's intercepted. It's Brian Branch with it. Down the sideline he goes, and he will bring it, bring it back. Might want to keep running that mother school. Lions touchdown. Charles, I'm looking at you, and understandably, <laughs> your mouth is wide open in disbelief. What were they thinking? That's going to be one of the great mysteries, but I do know this. When they went out on offense, I will guarantee they told them, don't just make anticipatory throws. Make sure you see it before you throw it. Didn't happen here. Trying to protect that lead, and now they gave it up. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And that'll make this a six-point game. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Scott on the return out of the end zone. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. Hurts throw here taken in as he's able to find Goddard. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Going up top. Oh, and it's oh, early, early strikes. Hey, passing out for you, school. I'm sorry to say that. You can't pass.